What's up guys, it's your boy Matt Pack420 here coming at you with a new one and today we're going to talk about, well, I was originally going to talk about Liz Cheney being ousted from the House Republican leadership which is fantastically hilarious and actually good news and I'm actually glad this happened because Liz Cheney is a warmongering psychopath whose soul is as black and disgusting as her father. Republicans need to grow a spine and get more of these psychopathic neocons or neolibs or these these fucking one-party globalist psychopaths out of here. See, you know you voted for the wrong person when Democrats are coming and championing a Republican. Doesn't matter who it is. It could be Cheney. It can be Bush. It can be Obama. It can be Clinton. It can be it can be any of these elitist, old, rich, loser politicians that do nothing but that literally do nothing but make money off of your ass and sell you out to China. As the new, but as the day went on and on and on, I noticed that that's all they were talking about because we got a hack that happened on the pipeline, which forced the pipelines to shut down, causing a shortage of gas and caused panic buying in certain parts of the country. Now the, the it's going to come back up, but of course it's going to take a few days, if not a few weeks for everything to get back to normal. And then you have, uh, you know, more stuff going on in the Middle East here. We got uh, Israel doing their stuff, you know, bombing Palestine, and and of course uh, this uh, the CIA, FBI, they're doing they're doing their they're doing their work, and uh, and of course the Biden administration is of course uh, sleep at the wheel. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised if in a few weeks we actually launch troops out here, um, because <laughs> war's coming, baby. Uh, America's back, as they say. Uh, but while that's all going on, this starts to skyrocket in uh, grocery prices. Uh, this is all from just the past day or so. But all I hear is nothing but about Liz Cheney being ousted. Okay, good. I'm glad. But it's almost as if the media is covering for uh, Joe Biden, who's turning into Jimmy Carter 2.0 over here. Uh, quite literally. I mean, we're talking about we're talking about gas shortages. We're talking about inflation on foods and basic needs. Uh, oh, we haven't talked about the immigration crisis either. You know, we got war in Middle East, man. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like some sort of Palestinian or Israeli uh, hostage situation coming up, where uh, we got where we got uh, POWs getting stuck there for probably 12 years. Wouldn't that be something? You know, I made a joke on Twitter. You know that if you elect Joe Biden, you're electing Jimmy Carter again. It was a joke, right? And I, it was just, you know, I was just trying to say because he's old and white and gross looking because Jimmy Carter was old, white and gross looking. Uh, but man, he is literally taking the playbook and, and, and playing the same fucking thing over and over again. It's it's actually quite impressive. Uh, <laughs> so you got this goofy shit going on. This motherfucker is just feeling good. How much gas is that, number one? Is he going to fill that whole tank up? Uh, two, don't get hit, sir. <laughs> uh, that's flammable. Yeah, now, it won't explode like it does in the movies, but it will catch fire, you know. For real? <laughs> Look at, it's all leaking on the fire. <laughs> Dumb bitch. Wish, is she tying it up? No! <laughs> oh, wait, did she put it in her, okay. Wait, does she got more than one bag in there? No. -uh. <laughs> oh, she's got a triple bag. I got a triple bag of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's got a hole in it. <laughs> I had a fucking Kroger. Hey, what are you in a fucking Kroger? Look at this bitch. <laughs> oh, man, dude, she looks like she works in a fucking nail salon, man. <laughs> she put it in her fucking truck. All right. This is getting stupid, okay? Uh, you know, it reminds me a lot about last year when people were hoarding toilet paper and food. Um, quite literally. <laughs> uh, the media is uh, freaking people out, and they're, uh, they're going and, and literally filling up bags of gasoline. <laughs> How is she going to get that in her car? You got a bag of gasoline? What are you going to do with it? How are you going to put that in your car? Oh, my God. Uh, you know, my first video of the year, I went off on, uh, things I expected this administration to do. Uh, the wars, the throwing leftists under the bus, 
uh, the, the the little stuff he's already done, right? Uh, but the clown show is, is 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 even more entertaining than I could ever have imagined. I mean, the man's dog is literally nipping and shitting in the fucking White House. Like he is biting people's hands and shitting in the fucking Oval Office. It's magnificent. <laughs> the guy's a little over a hundred days in, and um, I am literally more entertained. Uh, than I have been during the entire Trump administration, okay? Uh, because during the Trump administration, I don't like defending politicians. I fucking hate it, okay? Because I hate politicians, all right? But if you're going to criticize these people, I need legitimate criticism and not a bunch of just fucking stupid nonsense that the mainstream media tells you. I need legitimate criticism. I don't need you to tell me, well, he's such an evil, racist, disgusting person, and then when I ask you what he's done, you sit there and rage and call me a fucking Nazi. Dude, I'm Mexican, okay? That's my problem with these people, man. You give them a little bit of a pushback, and they just go straight to parroting a bunch of nonsense that has nothing to do with the conversation, okay? Everyone's a racist or sexist or some kind of stupid phobe, and that's how they deflect from the conversation, which is what I think the media is actually doing here with this Liz Cheney thing. Uh, while I'm glad she is actually completely uh, being stripped of her power and she is being ousted and, and the Republican Party is actually starting to grow a spine and get rid of these fucking morons. The media, on the other hand, is pretty much underreporting everything else that's going on right now. I mean, literally, all I saw today was this shit. All day, every day. I went on, 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 on political YouTube and all that, and this was this was all the mainstream media was talking about. They refused to talk about anything fucking else. Uh, uh, <laughs> the, the one story I did see that did criticize Joe Biden a little bit uh, was the... Uh, Someone was questioning whether the unemployment benefits are keeping people from going back to work. And he just kind of shrugs and says, oh, well, it's, it's better than I thought it'd be. <laughs> it's a clown show. He's literally, he's literally Jimmy Carter 2.0. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, um, the man is ill-equipped to do, well, anything. I mean, the guy needs diapers changed twice a day. I mean, it truly is a clown show. It really is. Anyway. That's all I got for you guys today. If you like what you see, like what you hear, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Follow me on social media. I'm on uh, Twitter, of course, Gab Minds. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.